What's up, everyone? This is episode number 45 of Highlighting the Best of Youth Sports with one of our favorite athletes, class of 2029 quarterback standout, Carson Pep Thomas. Pep is one of the coolest kids, and you'll always find him happy and having fun on the field. He's a hard worker with some incredible quarterback skills already at 10 years old. But most importantly, he's a kid with good character, working hard in the classroom, and towards his future goals. We know you'll enjoy this episode. Before we get into today's full episode, we want to say thank you so much to everyone that has listened and shared the show. The show has now surpassed 3,600 downloads, and we couldn't be more excited to see the future growth of the program. If you haven't done so yet, please go to Apple Podcasts right now and give us a rating and review. It literally takes less than 30 seconds and enables us to grow and reach more people, get new guests, and improve and bring you more content. Highlighting the best of youth sports is brought to you by our company, Numbers Don't Lie Productions. We're here to provide you with a highlight video editing resource to support your youth sports journey. We created a simple, quick, and low-cost process that helps you create highlights that document that journey and showcase your athlete. We have featured thousands of athletes in over 40 states and 15 countries. Schedule a free consultation and learn more today at www.numbersdontlie.biz. Now let's get into this episode. Welcome to Highlighting the Best of Youth Sports, where we bring you insights from top athletes, their sports journey, and those positively impacting the youth sports community. If you're ready like we are, let's go. Welcome, everyone. Today, we have another special talent with us, class of 2029 football standout, Carson Thomas, better known as Pep the Rockstar. Pep, welcome to highlighting the best of you sports. How are you doing, my man? Good. Pep, let's start with you taking a few moments. Just tell us a little bit about yourself, how old you are, where you're from, and what sport you compete in. My name is Carson Thomas. I'm 10 years old, and I compete in football. And where are you from? I'm from California. All right. Carson, do you go by Carson or Pep? Which, which do you prefer? I will like to go by Pep. Okay. All right. Perfect. Pep, how long have you been playing football for? I've been playing football for five years. For five years? And, and you're how old again? Ten? Yeah. All right. So half your life already. Yeah. All right. Pep, what do you enjoy most about playing football? I One thing I enjoy most about football is seeing the whole team happy, like celebrating, like, yeah, just getting hyped with the team. Yeah, absolutely. And, and a lot of times you're the one doing that hype and getting everyone fired up, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Now, Pep, what position do you play? I play quarterback. All right. And what, what do you enjoy most about playing quarterback? One thing I enjoy playing quarterback is throwing touchdowns to my bros and seeing them happy. And uh, tell us about your football season this year. Um, are, are you currently in, in season right now? Are you guys uh, doing seven on seven? What are you doing right now? No, we're really just like in pads right now, hitting for the season. Yeah, we just got done doing seven on seven. Okay, so uh, you, you haven't done games yet uh, for uh, tackle, right? No, sir. Okay, why don't, why don't you tell me some of your, um, what were some of the best moments and highlights just from the seven on seven you just had? Um, my best moment was winning the championship with my team and seeing them happy. Who did you guys play with, uh, play against in the championship and, and where was the championship at? We played against the heat seven on seven. I think that's their name. Uh, I think Cali heat, but yeah, we played, I don't know, but it was somewhere far. How many touchdowns did you throw? That whole day I threw like 23. Yeah. That sounds about right for you. <laughs> uh, Pep, what is your best memory? You've been playing for five years. What's been your best memory or one of your biggest accomplishments when it comes to playing football so far? My best memory, my best memory is when we all went to Florida, but we came up short, but I'm still happy and glad of my team. Yeah. And, and what do you remember most about Florida? Um, I remember my boy KJ got the overtime touchdown. 
I remember the second game, Quest got the overtime touchdown, and we were all just balling. I, I love to hear your answer like that, and I love that your memories. It's not all about you. It's about your, your players and your boys out there uh, get, getting those touchdowns. What you know? What are as a quarterback? How important is it for you, and how uh, special is it for you to have playmakers on your team and those guys that can make those plays that you're throwing to? It is important, but it's very rare because it takes half of the pressure off of me so I could just dump the ball off. As a quarterback, what do you feel is your biggest strength when it comes to your skill set right now? I feel like my biggest strength is using my legs and the accuracy passes. Yeah, you're a very accurate uh, thrower. Now, do you work with a quarterback coach? Yeah. And and, uh, what quarterback coach do you work with? His name is Coach Six. Okay. And what are some things that you and him are working on uh, where you think you can improve, but uh, you're working on very hard with him? We've been working on keeping my arm up and don't side on the ball. So let's transition a little bit over. um, Pep, what grade are you in currently and what high school do you plan to go to? I'm currently in the sixth grade and I plan to go to modern day high. Okay, very good. Modern Day High, one of one of the top, um, if not the top, high school football programs uh, in the country. It's uh, would definitely be a great program to be a part, and and you'd do well there. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you out there. Thanks. So uh, tell us tell us about how you're doing in school. What type of grades are you getting? I'm doing good. I have all A's and B's. I'm really trying to get the B's up to all A's. Okay. <laughs> and what what's your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject is history because I saw what we had to go, what we had to deal with when we were like back in the old days, how we were just slaves. Yeah. It's always good to, you know, learn from history. It's one of my favorite subjects as well. It uh, helps us to look towards the future and and how we as a society can get better. How important to you is your education for your future? My education is really important because I know my parents don't play about my grades. So if I don't (laughs) have good grades, I can't play football. Absolutely. It's very important. And what we like to tell everyone, and I know your parents are tell, tell, telling you this as well, is the better grades you have, the more options you're going to have. So when it comes to picking your high school, when it comes to picking the college you want to play at or go to, if you've got all those A's, you're going to have many more options. And if you have C's, your options are going to be limited. Don't forget that. Keep working hard in the classroom. Okay. Okay. Pep, I, I know you love sports. Sports is a big part of your game, uh, but I also know you love to have fun. So uh, what type of activities and hobbies do you enjoy outside of football? I enjoy playing my game, playing a game with my friends, playing outside, dribbling a basketball sometimes. We're going to transition to our final rapid fire questions. You ready? Yes, sir. What's your one big goal for the next year? To win a national championship. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received from a coach or a parent? A best advice is do not listen to the haters. It's going to, if you listen to them, it's going to mess you up in life. Who's your favorite? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. And stay poised. Stay poised. Absolutely. And who's your favorite athlete and why? My favorite athlete is Patrick Mahomes. I like him because he's like a big arm quarterback. He can do anything. He controls the offense. Um, he does, he calls audibles. Yeah. He's just what he's the best quarterback in my opinion. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. He's a very special talent. Pep, tell us why numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie. Okay. Numbers don't lie because numbers don't one, two, three, four, five. That's not a lie. (laughs) I love that. All right, Pep, where can people follow you and find out more about the sports journey you're on? You guys can follow me at Pep the Rockstar, P-E-P-T-H-A-R-O-C-K-S-T-A-R. All right, my man. Thank you so much. That concludes the interview. That concludes the podcast. We want to thank you so much. Always good to have you on. We want to get you on again in the future, and we're, uh, we're looking forward to continuing to watch your journey. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, bud. Take care. Have a great weekend. Tell your parents I said hello. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode of highlighting the best of youth sports. Be sure and subscribe and please help us reach more people by leaving a rating and review on your favorite podcast platform of choice. If you or someone you know are interested in learning more about Numbers Don't Lie and what we do, what programs and services we offer for athletes, and how to get your athlete involved, be sure to visit numbersdontlie.biz. 
Until our next episode, go out and win the day and never miss your opportunity to be great. Thanks for listening to highlighting the best of youth sports. <laughs>